Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can turn on and off an AC load with this triac base switch with Arduino. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. separate video explaining how to use this AC switch to control an AC load with Arduino without a push button via the signal at this point. I have separate video explaining how we can use this with single push button and Arduino so you push the button the load will be on and push the button the load will be off so push on and push off. A link for the other videos related to this module is below the video in the description. This is a module by Robot Dyne and uh, it's made very nicely, properly with proper documentation and everything. We have two terminals here for N. You will connect your AC, the live will be here and the neutral to this pin and it goes and comes back. The Actually the uh, neutral will go directly in here. If you look they are connected here together and the live will go through this triac. This is a BTA16600 which means it can handle up to 16 ampere at 600 volts but because there is no heat sink this will not be able to handle that so it will be a few hundred watts. This is the MOC3042 triac driver so we do need another diac. This is optocoupler, which means optically isolated. So your Arduino will not have any connection physically in terms of electronic to this. These two pins that you see, they will go and connect and this and uh, circuit will be completed inside this, electronically isolated. This is a data sheet for this MOC3043, the model that is used here. And here is the a schematic diagram of this. It has zero crossing so you don't worry about those. I will provide you the link if, in case if you need to have a look at this. And here is a diagram for this BTA16600 triac. This is your input of AC. The AC comes and it will be blocked at this point and it cannot continue to the load until the gate is triggered using this MOC3042 that has zero crossing receives signal from the internal uh, light emitting diode that will turn it on and off by receiving the 5 volts or 3.3 volts at the two terminals of the input. I will provide you the link for this schematic if you need it. The length of the module is 46 millimeters or 1.81 inch. The width is 22.4 millimeters or 0.88 inch. Of this, it was low, I just brought it up. If you keep it like this, the depth is 12.9 millimeters or 0.51 inch. And if you're interested in weight, it weighs exactly 10 grams. From this point we have two wires, one is ground, one is VCC or switch. If this pin receives 5 volts or 3.3 volts which is considered as high, the load will be turned on. In this case we are connecting it to pin 5 of Arduino where we can turn it on and off or we can send high or low signal to this pin and the other pin green is connected to the ground and I've connected that yellow pin to pin 5. So this is connected now to pin 5. This was my wire. One side is this one which goes to the wall and the other side was coming here. I disconnected it, cut it and the live is connected on this side. The neutral is connected in here. This is the input, the green port. The load is connected on this side with the blue terminal. This is the live and that's the ground. In Canada, this is the live pin, the one that is smaller. The wider one is the neutral. In other countries you have to use some screwdriver live detector or other means to understand because the pins are 
exactly the same and you can insert it make sure to find the live and connect it properly for the push buttons uh, on the breadboard i've used these two push buttons this is a long pen type which i purchased from ebay they can be used easily on breadboard this side it has two pens this side is connected to ground here and for the second one as well i've connected them to ground so this way i could use only one ground this wire so now this blue is all ground i'm using this wire and connected it here to the ground of arduino and this pen this switch which is for turning it on and this is for turn off this is connected in this orange wire to pin 2 and and for turn off switch the red is connected to pin 3 and this is a demonstration this will be used for turning it on and this for turning it off and as you can see the light is off and also we see here when i push it you will see the value that it will show that the light is on and which is true if i keep holding it the only difference that you see will be on the screen that it says light on light on will continuously update the status and if i press this it will be off if i even if i hold it nothing will happen so on off Thank you for watching. This was how to control an AC load with Triac, Arduino and two push buttons. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. A separate video explaining how to use this AC switch to control an AC load with Arduino without a push button via the signal at this point. I have a separate video explaining how we can use this with single push button and Arduino. So you push the button, the load will be on and push the button, the load will be off. So push on and push off.